Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be reviewing right triangle trigonometry, and our goal in this lesson is that we can evaluate the six trig functions using given information about a triangle or an angle. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So in previous courses, you learned about right triangle trigonometry, and you learned about originally the first three, sine, cosine, and tangent, and then come algebra two, their reciprocal functions, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. And this is just a little mini review, a good visual to remind you that sine is opposite over hypotenuse, which means that cosecant, which is its reciprocal function, is hypotenuse over opposite. So in this case, if we drew an angle in here, let's call this one theta, our hypotenuse, well, this is a 5, 12, 13 right triangle, or you could do the Pythagorean theorem to find that. From this angle, theta, our sine would be 5 over 13, which means our cosecant would be 13 over 5. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, which in this case would be 12 over 13, and secant would be that reciprocal. Notice the same letter letters never go together. So sine S goes with cosecant, cosine C goes with secant. So we never match the same letters up together. That was something that helped me remember if sine goes with secant or cosecant, for whatever reason. And then tangent is going to be 5 over 12, which means its reciprocal function cotangent is going to be 12 over 5. So this is a little review of SOHCAHTOA, or the six, trig, the six trig ratios from a right triangle. So if you're being asked about the six trig functions from a right triangle, the first thing you should do is make sure you identify which side is which. What's the opposite? What's the adjacent? What's the hypotenuse? And remember, opposite and adjacent are going to depend on your angle. Then you can find the original three, sine, cosine, and tangent, and then you can reciprocate them to find the other three, cosecant, secant, and cotangent. Don't forget that you do need to simplify your fractions. So go ahead and pause this video and work through this example problem on the right on your own, and we are using angle A, so you can draw a little theta right in here. And here we have those solutions. So 8 is opposite, 15 is adjacent, in terms of A, and 17 is the hypotenuse, and then we can go ahead and set up those ratios. So hopefully this isn't too much of a review. We're going to go ahead and look at some more examples, but pause the video if you need to take some time to get everything written down. Okay, let's do a couple more practice problems, one that's really similar to what we just did, and another one where we actually are given one trig function and we need to find the other five. So my hint to you on that second one is go ahead and draw yourself a triangle. If you know what one of them is, you can find the third side length and then see how far you can get. So try to get through one and two as much as you can on your own and then unpause the videos and see how you did. So here are the solutions to number one. Go ahead and pause the video, check over them, make sure you identified those three original sides correctly and that you worked through each of these sides and found each of these six trig functions correctly. Okay, for number two, if we're given sine, that also means we're given cosecant. So we have a freebie right away. Then my hint was to draw a triangle. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna pick this angle to be theta. So that means opposite is four. Hypotenuse, because that's what sine is, is five, which means this is a three, four, five right triangle, or you could do the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing side. Now, if you didn't get here already, pause the video and fill in the rest of those trig functions. Okay, take your time to check over those, but if opposite is four, then adjacent is three, and that helps us find cosine and secant, cosine being adjacent over hypotenuse, secant being the reciprocal of that, and then tangent being opposite four over adjacent three, and cotangent being the reciprocal of that. Let's go ahead and look at one last type of example and then we'll wrap up this video. Okay, for this last example, it says given theta in standard position whose terminal passes through the point negative two, three. So my hint, sort of like on the last problem, is to always draw a picture. So plot the point and draw a triangle. We aren't given a triangle. We aren't given information about our angle theta other than that it is in standard position and it passes through this side. So go ahead and pause the video and just make a little xy plane and graph the point negative two, three. Now, standard position angles 
make are made with the origin and they rotate around the axes. But when we're looking at this, what we do is we form our right triangle with the reference angle with the x axis. So now I have my triangle and you may be thinking, I still don't know any information about this, but we actually, we do. We know that this length is negative two. Now I know it feels weird to talk about a length being negative, but considering we're in this second quadrant, we need to make sure the right things have the right sign. And the height of our triangle is three. Now we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the hypotenuse, which is gonna be the square root of 13. Now that you have those pieces of information, go ahead and find the six trig functions. And don't forget that you do need to rationalize your denominator. So let me actually just do the first one with you. Opposite is three and hypotenuse is the square root of 13, but we can't leave a radical in the denominator. So we're gonna multiply this by root three over root three. So sine of theta is gonna be three root 13 over 13. Now when you reciprocate, reciprocate it from that first step. So this is just going to be root 13 over 3. Okay, go ahead and pause the video and find the remaining 4 on your own, and then unpause the video and see how you did. And here we have the remaining 4. So pause the video, check your solutions, and then we're going to go ahead and wrap up this video. Okay, our goal in this video was to review right triangle trigonometry and be able to find the six trig functions, sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent using some given information. And I think that we accomplished that goal, and I hope you feel that way too. So go ahead and write down any questions you have, and I look forward to supporting you on this. Thanks for listening.